Hi all. So let's discuss today about daily healthy routine that we must follow according to Ayurveda. In a correct order. So why to follow in a correct order? Nowadays I am seeing that many of the persons are doing it in the wrong way and is telling Ayurveda is not true. It's a big scam like that. Okay. So it is not like that. So let us learn about how we can have a productive life with Ayurveda. So here let's discuss about Dhinacharya. So what is Dhinacharya? As soon as you wake up early morning, from the morning routine to the night, we have to follow a set of things. And these set of things are helping us and our health to stay stable. So which time you have to wake up early in the morning? Dears, I'm always telling to you to go to bed early. Yeah, I know. Nowadays, in the digital world, we are having a lot of distractions. But our health must be our first priority. Otherwise, you know, isn't it? So, try to be early to bed. It is not only early to bed. Wake up early in the morning. So, why to wake up early in the morning? That is, early morning means you have to wake up in Brahma Muhurta. Brahma Muhurta means the time is from 4.30 a.m. to 5 a.m. So at that time, if you are waking up, one main thing is that Vada, Pitta and Kaba, that is the three Tridoshas in our body, three of them are in a perfect balance at that time. Not only this, we know that nowadays we all have kids in our home. Most of the kids are having the habit of going to bed late night and waking up so early. And what we will be thinking, uh, oh, my kid is a night person, let it be like that. Here yeah, you will be thinking like that. But as years passes, you can see some of things. You can see depression. They will be having low self-esteem. Yeah, they will be the topper of the school or the college. But somewhere they are having these feelings of depression. They are not confident of themselves. Why? Because they are not waking up early morning. So tell them, try this routine to wake up early in the morning. So when they wake up early in the morning, actually it will be helping them to improve their memory power. Increase their resistance power. Yeah, nowadays we can see that most of the kids who are studying at late night, in the future, they are suffering from thyroid, PCOD problems, respiratory tract infections, etc. And weight gain also. So if they are following this correct routine, that is going early to bed and then waking up early, they can prevent these set of diseases. So we were discussing that it will be helping to improve their memory power, increase their resistance power against diseases. So tell them to wake up early in the morning and study well. Okay. And next main thing is that, okay, after waking up early morning, we must pass our motion or urine. If we are passing our motion and urine, it indicates that our body is going in a perfect healthy way. Nowadays, we can see there are a lot of persons who are dependent on laxatives and they think that's a normal thing. Even I'm surprised with the list of the laxatives. Sometimes a patient come and tells in the OP. They will be telling, ma'am, I used to this, this powder, this syrup. Why to go behind these medicines? And it is, that is, you are teaching your body and the mind that without this laxative, I cannot survive. No, never. So, Try this routine. Definitely, if it is not possible, it indicates that there is a vada imbalance in your body and get it corrected at the earliest. Okay. So, passing off early motion, that is your nature wake up, nature call. This all indicate that your body is healthy and in a harmony. <coughs> and after that, what we have to do? Yeah, you have to brush your teeth. Yeah, brushing your teeth, we know that our ancestors were using the leaves of the mango and all to clean their teeth. So why the teeth cleaning is so important? Here also there is a, a thing that is I can see some of the kids, some of the parents used to tell my kids brushes will not brush. He will be taking the biscuit or milk after that only they are taking the, they are brushing the teeth. It is also not so good. So why you have to brush early in the morning? We know after an age, we all are going through a phase that some of the patients used to tell, I'm not having enough appetite. I cannot feel the taste of the food. 
why most of us are depending upon the swiggy somato etc because you cannot feel the taste the smell of the food yeah there are a lot of adulterants in the food okay but i am not telling about that so here make sure your senses are cleaned yeah your tongue sense must be cleaned well thoroughly if you are cleaning it well and thoroughly it indicates that you can take that is you will be having the correct appetite and you are taking the food according to its sense smell flavor if you take the food according to the sense smell flavor then only it will be good to our body otherwise it is not getting digested so it is very important to brush your teeth and next main thing is about exercise so why exercise is so important actually i have conducted a poll regarding exercise and i have seen many of them were telling i am having severe knee pain i have undergone ligament injury i cannot do exercise do you think it is a good habit never we know that many of the actors we see in the big screens and all even they had undergone many injuries and all but they are doing exercise isn't it as they are doing exercise only they are able to maintain a healthy lifestyle so let's follow them in this thing that is for to maintain a healthy lifestyle and one main thing is that we all we know that our human body is not remaining remaining on the same weight especially ladies isn't it uh, during the college days you may be lean and during the, after the pregnancy period and during the pregnancy period definitely you will be gaining a 5 to 10 kg of weight and after maintaining this 5 to 10 kg of weight many of them will be able to lose weight some of them will not be able to lose weight the ultimate aim is our health if you are not maintaining our weight what happens is that you will be getting knee joint pain ankle joint pain etc so what do you have to do you have to do exercise and i am seeing many patients in the op they are complaining of this catching vayu pain at all so why this catching vada pain they are having why because they are not doing enough exercise next main thing is that we all are having a sedentary lifestyle only uh, i can i know many of the ladies used to tell i do oh, the complete household work yeah you may be doing the complete household work but i can tell you one thing are you living an ancient lifestyle no definitely you are having for everything for cooking purpose you may be using mixy jar stove okay and for washing purpose you may be using this washing machine and all so how there is there is not too much of hard work and that is your mind is keeping on telling you you are stressing out too much okay so what i am telling is that let's do some exercise to maintain a healthy weight it is very important and one main thing is that i can see a lot of patients they are doing exercise but after doing this exercise some of them used to tell oh, madam you told me to do exercise after that i got this joint pain and all so here is a simple and an effective tip i am going to tell you that is here comes the importance of abhyangam or oil massage in your body so why you should do oil massage on your whole body i can tell you one thing our human body is in a journey from oilness to the dryness okay so to the oilness to the dryness what we can do here let's apply oil let's massage the oil on our whole body after doing exercise i am telling after doing exercise what you have to do is that 5 minutes let's do a small meditation let's be mindful that as we are doing this exercise i am reducing my weight i am becoming more healthy day by day and then we are going to do the oil massage oil massage do it for 20 minutes solely and when you um, apply this oil what you have to do is that you have to if you're taking the head bath on the head bath days you must apply it on the scalp and definitely you must apply it behind your ears on the inner sole of the feet on your umbilicus area and a whole body apply it for 20 minutes and after this 20 minutes if it is in the cold climate try to take in the hot water bath and if it is in the hot climate try to take bath in the normal water and always i am telling don't put this hot water on your head if you are washing the hot water with your head what happens is that you can experience a lot of hair fall yeah whenever i am introducing myself as an ayurveda physician most of them used to ask me 
doctor is there any remedy for hair fall i have to know the reason isn't it so one of the main reason is this so let's don't wash our hair with hot water okay so if you're doing like this then what are the benefits yeah i can tell you that is after doing the exercise your joints are so tired it needs some soothing and calming and relaxing massage so this massage you are doing when you're doing like this i can guarantee you you will not be complaining of joint pains on in your old age also okay i can see a lot of school going children nowadays used to tell uh, when the grandma shows her leg and tell i am having pain the kid is also telling i am having pain okay so if we adopt this habit both of them will be happy because enough nutrition it is getting outside in the form of oil in their body okay so that is the important of oil massage yeah next main important thing nowadays we know that many of the old age patients are depending upon what they need a sleeping tap why they need a sleeping tablet because what they believe is that when they take that lee they can sleep so if you are following this habit your skin will be becoming lustrous young glowing you will be getting a good beautiful sleep that is you can sleep like a baby okay so that is the importance of oil massage so let's go with next main thing is sir what all things you have to avoid yeah i have to tell you about one thing i had seen that some of them were telling there is no problem you can take a bath uh yeah you can take a bath and then take the food that is a normal thing but you can take the food and then go and take a bath it is not a normal thing why it is not a normal thing because during the digestion time we know that the whole our body's concentration is on your stomach at this time when you suddenly going and taking a bath what is happening that is we are actually pouring water to a fire extinguisher that is your food will not be digested properly so if your food is not digested properly what can happen any disease you search in the internet you can see autoimmune it is actually autoimmune 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 and you guys will be keeping on thinking what is this autoimmune disease is it yeah it can result not only in autoimmune diseases to many other serious illness conditions so my kind request is that take a good bath after that only you have to take the food okay then let me tell you that is you had done this much thing actually ayurveda dinacharya is a long big topic but i don't want to keep you too much of boring with too much of details okay so when you go to bed what all things you have to do let me tell you so i am telling you to take your dinner earlier that is at 7 if you want to reduce your weight definitely try to take it at 7 or 7:30 or maximum at 8 o'clock okay and what you have to do is that let's do a small slow walking okay and try to be early to bed and you must avoid the spicy masala items daily in your food items because it is going to increase your body heat and please avoid day sleeping if you are day sleeping what happens is that it can result in the diminishing of the digestive fire it can result in unnecessary weight gain unnecessary weight gain and you must avoid this ac and uh, etc okay so hoping that these tips are helpful for you have a great day